Well, thank you for joining me. Brand image, customer experience, customer engagement. Now, this is the second part video of the one we were talking about, the Eiffel Tower. And this one is about you, your brand. Now, in business, people buy from people they trust. So I've had long conversations with you and various people about the importance of having the right staff. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a single person, you're a consultant, you're a business coach, you're whatever, you have to create your own brand. Now, the bonus with that is you have to live it and breathe it 24-7 because people buy from people they trust. So even if you're a one-man band, we will call a builder or a plumber or an architect, you've still got to create your brand. You've still got to create your business. You are that person. So whether you're out and about... And it got me talking at the weekend, we were talking about tattoos and we were talking about piercings and we were talking about people with loss of limbs. And one of the guys we were racing with at the weekend in the motorsport has lost his arm. It happens. Now, he lost it in the war. Now, he uses that as his brand and he comes in and he's one arm bandit. And I went, cool, that's a bit. And he said breaks down everything. He said, I've got no arm. He said, I can't do anything about it. My brand is, he said, I come in, I go, never play cards, it costs me an arm. He said, so he's funny with it, but his brand is, and it gets a talking point. And he comes in and he makes the use of things. So when he's having discussions with people, I'll just keep the numbers and the figures simple. I've only got one hand to add up on. And he's utilising this as his brand. Now there are people with tattoos, there are people with piercings on their nose and on their face. You're going to have to capitalise on that being your brand. Now, everybody that knows me knows that I'm pretty loud and I'm pretty big and I'm pretty out there. And people kind of get that. So they kind of know who you are. They're going to know who you are and they're going to get to know you. People buy from people they trust. And you've got to somehow break down those barriers to get people to talk to you. So jumping around on stage, you know, I am larger than life. Everybody says that. I'm a bit of a special case the haircut tends to help. So you kind of go out there as your brand. Who are you? What are you? Now, other than today, I've got a day off. I'm in the casual clothing side. Normally, I've got wacky waistcoats. Some of the business people have seen. I've got custom-made braces, normally cufflinks, and I go shooting. I go into the country sports, and certainly with motorsport. So obviously, I'm quite branded up. I'm an individual. I'm going to be there. You're going to know I'm there. So what is your brand? What do you look like? Now, this is fundamental to what you do each and every day. If you're wearing a brand or you've got a branded shirt or you've got brand on your arm, people are going to see that. Now, I say this because obviously, like I said, we were at a motorsport event over the weekend and there was a guy there with just a normal plain shirt on, little logo on the arm. Didn't ever talk to him, didn't ever see him to you know make eye contact, but I read the logo on the arm. And unfortunately, it wasn't the politest thing. And I kind of made an assumption of that man based on the shirt he was wearing. He decided that that logo was appropriate to wear. Kind of kept me distance from him, not somebody I wanted to be associated with. Because if that was the decision he'd made to wear that, then rightly or wrongly, that was the impact that he'd made. Keep well clear. So he hadn't got a choice of coming to see me because I was keeping clear. You know, it's like, mm, um, you know. So what you wear, what you say, what you do, the way you act, you are responsible for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now we hear it a lot of time with road rage and this is where your business or you as your brand, your number plates, your images, your logos on the car or the van or the truck can be impacted so much on that business, socially and morally. YouTube, Facebook, social media, people can find you, they can see you. You might not even know the video you've put up there or somebody's filmed you doing something has gone viral. I remember two lads fell in a stream on holiday, just took it, blah, 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 sent it to their Facebook page. It's appeared on a national TV program as most of the most stupid things to do, but on holiday they did it. And they kind of got a reputation for being a couple of idiots. Well, actually, they're not. They're businessmen having a bit of a laugh and a joke. So you've got to be very careful. I'm not saying don't enjoy yourself, but if you're a business and if you're a brand and if you're an entrepreneur, you've got to understand where you are and what you do and how it's seen and how it's interpreted. 
and I mean that in the in the politest and serious way. Some people won't come and talk to me, no hair, riding a motorbike, kind of ignore me. But then when you put the suit on, people will want to come and see you because you bounce around on the stage. You've got your own persona, your own image. You are larger than life. You do live, fair enough, I live my life to the extremes. I mean, I got called an international playboy at the weekend. You know, I'm off at country shows, I'm off at shooting, I'm off at motorsport. You know, learning to fly the helicopters in and out. We're going polo, we're going racing. We're popping across to watch the ice racing over in Germany, Russia. We're up to Sweden. Life's pretty good. So I've kind of got that I'm here, there and everywhere type of thing. And people are going, where are you doing? What are you doing? You become a key person of influence in your sector, in your sport. So just bear in mind, every time I step out, I know people are going to see me and know me. And I'm not even going to know them. So in some respects, people watch the videos. Now, I don't know how many people watch the videos. I kind of get an idea, but then I'm not going to look them all up, the thousands that do. So you're kind of sitting there thinking, I am that brand. So when I step out, I'm polite. Most of you that know me know I don't drink. I drive pretty sensibly, drive a sensible vehicle. And I'm kind of putting across that, you know, I am genuinely a nice person to do business with. People see that, people engage. Like we said, I was at a motorsport this weekend. And people came up and went, hi, and how you doing? You all right, mate? Hey, didn't know them from Adam. They'd seen me in Germany. They'd seen me commentating. They'd seen me do this. So they know who I am by my image, my persona, and what I do. So please bear that in mind, that you are the most important person in the brand, in the image, in your business. Now, if you work for a big company, hopefully they will have told you what to do, how to behave, how to act, you'll have had contracts and everything else. But I just need you to be aware that you're seen as your brand. The way you behave, the way you act is important to your brand and your image. Take care. Have a good day.